guys, this is Jules, and this is going to be a build video for VMA for Stam Sork that includes absolutely no trials gear, dungeon drops, or any kind of endgame gear. A lot of times people have viewed my other Stam Sork build for VMA, and a common complaint is that the build has a lot of sets that are difficult to acquire or need to be acquired through trials and things like that. And sometimes people, they just want to do VMA. Um, they might be a PvP or they might be a newer player, and they don't necessarily have access to all of these sets. So this is going to kind of cater to those people. It's going to be geared more towards the newer players or people that just don't have those sets. So just taking a look at the stats real quick before we hop into the gear. We have 9k max magica, 17.4k max health, and just under 37k max stam, which is much higher than uh, the other builds. We have 3300 weapon damage, 71.1% crit before pot, and 806 stam recovery. With pot, that crit goes up to 81.1%, which is pretty on mark with the other builds. 33% weapon damage and 909 stam recovery. We are a red guard, and we are also running the thief and max health and max stam food. Alrighty, and just getting into the gear, we're running four Kavach Gladiator, five Night Mother's Gaze, and three Vengeance Leech. This build cost me a total of around 10k to put together. So it should be very easy to acquire as it's two crafted sets and the jewelry comes from Cyrodiil and is very inexpensive. So just to go over the sets real quick, we have Kavach Gladiator. This is a crafted set. Gives us weapon crit, weapon crit, and weapon damage. Running that on head, shoulders, gloves, and waist. We are still running Night Mother, which is also crafted. This is from the other build as well. Weapon crit, weapon damage, weapon crit, and reducing your physical resistance of your targets. Uh, we have three on the body and our two daggers. Make sure that your daggers are definitely gold and sharpened. And make sure that they are daggers because daggers give you extra crit and crit is necessary in PvE. I have these enchanted with one weapon damage and one poison damage and this seems to work pretty well. The jewelry that we're running is Vengeance Leech, all in robust. This gives us a max bonus of health. And then the big piece is the three piece. When you kill an enemy, you heal for 1452 and restore 1452 Magicka and Stamina. This is kind of a mini Battle Roar or a mini um, Vicious Ophidian. This is how you're going to sustain. This should be enough to sustain with heavy attacks and with um, the CP layout and with the use of pots. I just did Maelstrom wearing this gear and sustain, while admittedly was not as good as Vicious Ophidian, it was doable, so it shouldn't be an issue. I have these enchanted with three gold weapon damage enchants. And then off bar, if you do have the Maelstrom's bow, you can run the Maelstrom bow to buff your Endless Hail. If you don't, you can just run another Night Mother bow, or another Night Mother piece rather, to get another additional weapon crit. This really should be gold because it's going to be buffing your damage for Trap and Endless Hail, but um, I was too lazy to, to upgrade this because I, I was just doing this for this video. So. All right, so that is all of the gear, guys. It's very, very simple to acquire. If you know a crafter, you can get two crafted sets, uh, get it done. And then these, I believe, I purchased for about 6K total for the entire jewelry set. They go for very, very inexpensive. So it should not be hard to put together at, at all. All right, and moving on to the skills. We have Rapid Strikes, Rending Slashes, Steel Tornado, Bound Armaments, Hurricane, and Rend. Rapid Strikes is going to be our main DPS. Rending Slash is going to be a dot. Steel Tornado for AoE. Bound Armament is going to increase our max stand by 8% and our heavy attack damage. And Hurricane is going to give us Major Resolve, Major Ward, Minor Expedition, and it's going to be proccing that implosion around us. For our ultimate, we're using Rend. It has a very, very high tooltip and it heals you for 50% of the damage done. So it's very good, especially on rounds like round 5 where you have lots of incoming damage. Moving to the off bar, we have Poison Injection. This is a very strong dot, and it's also an execute. It's very good in conjunction with a heavy attack to kill or instantly kill mobs that are coming out of portals. We have Rearming Trap to lock your targets down in place and also give you minor force. We have Endless Hail, which is another AoE. Bound Armaments, because it needs to be on both bars. And then Crit Surge for heals. This back bar ultimate changes quite a bit. Most of the time, I use Fighter's Guild, Dawnbreaker, or Smiting. Sometimes I do use Ballista from the Bow Tree. 
And then other times on round five or round two, I will use suppression fields. And that's pretty much it for all the skills, guys. Other than to say that rapid strikes and rending slashes both have off morphs that give you heals. So if you are newer to Maelstrom, then you might want to consider using those morphs. Last but not least, we have CP. I'm going to give a CP layout for max level CP, which is 600. And then I'll talk a little bit about what you should do if you don't have max CP. So we have none into the apprentice, one into melee weapon, one into bow, 60 into thaumaturge, 38 into precise strikes, and 100 into mighty. 15 thick skinned, 80 into hardy, 80 into Ellie defender, and 25 into quick recovery. 100 into Warlord, 36 into Sprinter, 15 into Tenacity, and 49 into Tumbling. If you only have, say, 300 CP, I think that's probably the mark of when you should start to do Maelstrom, and that would be probably the most convenient. You should put 100 points into Mighty for your blue tree. I would split your Hardy and Ellie Defender. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get Unchained until you hit CP uh, 120. But as soon as you can, split those and so that you can get the Unchained. But until then, split them. And I'd put 100 into Warlord. As you get more and more CP, you can kind of increase to put the, put your CP closer to what they are allocated at 600. But those are the most important constellations for each of the trees. And so that is the entire build, guys. I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope that uh, it helps you. If you don't have max level gear, or you don't have best in slot gear, I, like I said, I did complete this uh, using this gear. It was um, not as good as best in slot gear, which is to be expected, but it is definitely doable, and it is good DPS and good sustain. So I hope that this helps you guys, and have a great day.